Hello. Hey you guys, welcome back to another episode of A Guy in the Kitchen. So, you may have noticed that I have not posted for another two months. That is because I'm out of high school and in college now. Yeah. But regardless of that, I'm back with another video, which is good. But before we move forward, just give me a second. There we go. Wait a second. There we go, that's better. So yeah, today we're going to be making some steak. It's a great thing to make on a Saturday night, even though I'm making it on a Thursday. But either way, let's get the aprons on. And let's get cooking, because I was supposed to make supper about, uh, about 45 minutes ago. Intro transition. Alright, so first things first, you can't have a good steak without a good potato. So, first thing we ought to do, grab some parchment paper, if you really need to. And put it in a pan. Next step is picking out a really good potato to use. That's too small. That's really too small. Maybe a little small. Yeah. This is okay. That's how you package potatoes in a bag. Now you're gonna want to wash your potato because you don't want to bake it as a crusty stud muffin like it is right now. Just run it under some water and rub it while you're while it's under the water. Just so it gets all the dirt off of it. Shake it a couple times just to dry it if you really want to. And then, you bring it over and put it in your pan. I could have thrown it harder, but I don't really want to break the counter. After getting off all the surface dirt, you're going to want to grab some salt. Take a little bit. and sprinkle it all over your potato. Though make sure your hands are thoroughly dried before doing this or else you will have salty hands and watery salt. Then you set your oven to 410 degrees and chuck it in the oven for about an hour. While you're waiting on the potato, you can do two of two things. Number one, you can prep and season your steak. Number two, you can prep any other kind of vegetables or foods that you were going to have with your steak. I personally like to have some asparagus, mushrooms, and onion with my steak. With just a little bit of green onion for the potato. 
First thing we're going to do is season the steak. So you're going to want to grab some paper towel, rip off a few pieces, just lay it in there. Get that out of the way more. Then you're going to want to get your steak out of your packaging. For me, I got to use scissors because it's vacuum sealed. And then you just squish it out of the package and on to your paper towel. And then the reason I left this little piece of towel hanging up the top is we can fold it over top and just pat it just a little bit drier. Just so just it's just a little bit dry. all sides of the paper towel if absolutely necessary, which it usually is. Take it off the paper towel and chuck your paper towel in the garbage. Alright, and so the next step is seasoning your steak. Me personally, I go with a little bit of olive oil first and then Kegs, the keg steak seasoning. Because this is the only seasoning you'll ever need for steaks and nothing else. Just pretty well, just a tad bit, not a ton. Just enough to barely cover. Spread that out with a spoon. Or a brush or something. Doesn't really matter. Well, then you add your seasoning. Now you're going to want to do the same thing to the other side. So flip that and flip that and repeat the process. Okay, first off, grab something to cut it with. Preferably, cutting board and a kniffy. And grab things that you're gonna put your stuff into. For the mushrooms and onions, I'm putting it in a frying pan because they're going directly on the stove. And for the green onions, a little tiny container. For the asparagus, put it in a bowl. Even though they're gonna be added to the pan later, they don't need to be in there right away. So I'm putting them in the same container. All right, so first step. First thing I'm gonna do, cut the onions. And before I say anything, no, I'm not gonna cry while cutting these. I'm a man now. So you just gotta want about half an onion-ish, give or take. Cut off a bit of the squiggly end. And then peel the stuff off. Peel off the skin. See now, once you peeled off the skin of the onion, you're gonna want to cut it into slices. Not terribly thin, but not terribly thick either. Just medium slices. And put them in your frying pan when you're done with that. That wasn't so hard. Next, we're gonna cut up the mushrooms because they're also going in the same pan as the onions. And now you can just put in however many mushrooms you want to put in the pan, however much you're gonna eat. Personally, I put a lot in there, because really, you're just gonna shrink in the pan. It doesn't matter. We'll just shrink in the pan.
There, done. I like to put a bit of butter in the pan. Just a few chunks spread around the pan. And now we're just gonna go put this on the stove until we're ready to cook it. But after you've done that, you can start at the barbecue. Once your barbecue is started, you're going to wait until it gets to a fairly high temperature. Like about somewhere within where this red range starts. But not all the way 700, that's dangerously high. And while you're waiting on the barbecue, you can just grab this other stuff that you need for your mushrooms. Like your asparagus, a teaspoon of garlic, some, some extra olive oil if you need it, and balsamic glaze. You can also set your table and grab all the other things that you need for your baked potato. There's butter. There's sour cream. Bacon bits. And you're just plain psychotic if you're not thinking of putting cheese in there. And of course, the green onions that we cut from earlier. And a spoon for the sour cream. But first, the spray! Careful for the fire! Now you're gonna wanna put these on here. And set a timer on your watch too. If you can do that. Now once your timer it's about two minutes, you're going to want to turn them 90 degrees. Then wait another two minutes. Alright, it's two minutes later, so we got to flip the steak. That's looking pretty nice. Now you're just gonna want to let these rest for like 10 minutes. While you're waiting on those, you can go put some garlic in with your mushrooms and asparagus. And mix it! And once the garlic's been in there for like about a minute or so, you can add in the balsamic glaze! Also, when you do that, you can turn off the heat. And while that's doing its last bit of cooking, and while that's doing its last bit of resting, you can take your potato out of the oven! Now, I know there's gonna be some people in the comments going, what, why the heck aren't you cooking the steak for longer, man? Yeah, why aren't you doing that? I don't eat raw steak. I don't eat raw steak. Thing about that is, I like my steak medium rare, and no one can tell me otherwise. Yeah, there you go. That's a perfect steak dinner right there for you. And as for the steak, I think that looks pretty good. Well, that's it for this edition of A Guy in the Kitchen. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video, whenever that comes out. Leave, please. The video's over.